This is a video to help you perform the vapor pressure and heat of vaporization lab experiment. We are going to do this lab today with a computer and a lab quest, and I will show you how to set up, record data, and clean up this experiment. First, let's do some prep work for this experiment. You will be given two beakers, the 400 milliliters beaker filled with about 200 milliliters of water and put it on a hot plate on a medium heat to begin heating. The 600 milliliters beaker should be filled with just enough room temperature water that covers the bulb and the neck of the 125 milliliters Erlenmeyer flask. You will be adding more water to this beaker and you do not want it to completely cover the flask. Next, let's talk about the vernier equipment you're given for this experiment. You are given a temperature probe which will measure the temperature changes as you will add hot water to the beaker. You'll also be given a pressure probe which is attached to a stopper. First, you need to measure a room temperature and pressure reading. To do this, connect the temperature probe to one of the channels of the LabQuest box. Then, connect the, other, the pressure sensor to another channel of the LabQuest box. And then connect the LabQuest box to the computer. Next, open the Logger Pro software on your computer. Finally, go to File, Open to open the Advanced Chemistry with Vernier folder. Open the file 34 Vapor. You, you should see a graph and a temperature and pressure box with the current temperature and pressure displayed. You will need to wait a few moments while the temperature stabilizes. While the temperature is stabilizing, assemble the rest of the equipment you will need for this experiment. Twist the white stopper snugly into the neck of the Erlenmeyer flask we mentioned before to avoid losing any of the gas that will be produced as the liquid evaporates. Make sure the valve above the stopper is open in a vertical position. Record the temperature and then wait for the pressure to stabilize. This first temperature reading will go under the initial temperature in the data table on the lab paper. The first pressure reading will go into the initial P air reading in kilopascals. There will be no initial P total and P vapor. Then you will need to condition the Erlenmeyer flask and the sensors to the water bath. Place the temperature probe into the, in the room temperature water bath and place the Erlenmeyer flask in the water bath. Hold the flask down into the water bath to the bottom of the white stopper. One member of your group should hold the flask very still in the water bath the whole time during this experiment. After 30 seconds, close the valve on the white stopper. Obtain a small amount of ethanol. Draw 3 milliliters of ethanol into the 20 milliliters syringe that is part of the gas pressure sensor accessories. Thread the syringe onto the open valve on the white stopper. Next, add ethanol to the flask by opening the valve below the syringe containing the 3 milliliters of ethanol as mentioned below, before. Then push, the, push down on the plunger of the syringe to inject the ethanol and quickly pull, pull it back to the 3 milliliters mark. Close the valve below the syringe by orientating it horizontal again and carefully remove the syringe from the stopper so that the stopper is not moved. Gently rotate the flask in the water bath for a few seconds using the motion similar to slowly stirring a cup of coffee or tea to accelerate the evaporation of ethanol. Monitor and collect the temperature and pressure data by clicking collect to begin data collection. Make sure the person is holding the flask steady once again and monitor pressure and temperature readings. When the reading stabilize, click keep. Record the pressure reading as P total and the temperature readings in your data table. 
Add a small amount of hot water from the beaker on the hot plate. To warm the water bath by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius. Use a spoon or a small beaker to transfer the hot water. Stir the water bath slowly with the temperature probe monitor. Monitor the pressure and temperature readings. When the readings stabilize, click Keep. You will observe a gradual change in vapor pressure. Keep adding hot water until you have completed five total trials. Add enough hot water for each trial so that the temperature of the water bath increases by 3 to 5 degrees Celsius. But do not warm the water bath beyond 40 degrees Celsius because the pressure increase may pop the stopper out of the flask. If you must remove some of the water in the bath, do it carefully with a pipette so as not to disturb the flask. After you have recorded the fifth set of readings, open the valve to release the pressure in the flask. Remove the flask from the water bath and take the stopper off the flask. And then dispose of the ethanol as directed. This is the complete procedure for completing the vapor pressure of heat of vaporization lab. Be sure to read your lab worksheet for some additional details on the data analysis section.